Prodigy Campers. My name's Erin, and today we're going to be following along with my friends Daniel and Jen as they go on a community walk challenge. We've been having beautiful weather outside, and so I've given them the challenge to go around their neighborhoods and look for any shapes they might find and tell you about any sounds that they might hear. Daniel and Jen live in very different areas, so it'll be very interesting to see what they find. If your parent or guardian says it's okay for you to watch this video, then you can either watch along with us and help Daniel and Jen, or if your parent or guardian says it's okay, then you can go on your own nature walk and complete the same challenges. Here's some things to help you be ready for where you'll be going and what you'll be doing. First, don't leave the house without an adult and make sure that your family always knows where you are. Second, don't play on the road and make sure to look both ways before you cross the street. Make sure you're wearing proper clothing, including good shoes. If it's sunny, make sure that you're wearing a hat and sunscreen. And depending on where you are, you might even need bug spray. Make sure to ask your parent or guardian about that. You might also want to take a water bottle or a snack with you. First, let's see what my friend Daniel is up to in his neighborhood. Hello, hello, Prodigy Campers. It's Daniel here. I am out in this trail that's in my neighborhood and Aaron's given me some challenges that I am going to do today on my walk. On our walk, I am with my friend Hira. Mm -hmm. She's gonna help me out today. And what is also gonna help me out today is this bag I brought with me that has my water bottle. It has some snacks in it, some bandages, gloves, hand sanitizer, a whole bunch of things just in case I need it. Um, and I also have my notebook which I'm going to use to keep track of all of the things that we see today. Where Daniel is, is rich in all these different sounds. I recognize some bird sounds. For example, the red-winged blackbird, as well as grackles, goldfinch, and cardinals. You might have also heard robins, as well as song sparrows. And those are just the birds. As we follow Daniel on his adventure, make note of any other sounds that you might hear. On that note, I've given Daniel a challenge that is perfect for where he is. All right, Aaron's asked me what kinds of animals are in my neighborhood and where I am right now on the trail, there are a whole bunch of birds and actually some of these ducks are sleeping. And one of this, one of them is eating. All right, so we've seen a lot of birds. We've heard a lot of birds, like that one that you probably just heard right now. That's a cardinal. We haven't seen the cardinal yet. So Hira is using a bird call app and she's gonna try to draw it out. Hopefully we can see it. Sounds like it's right above us, but I can't see it anywhere. Cardinals are bright red. So if you see it, can you let me know where it is? Found it. It 
flew over here. We couldn't see its bright red color before because of the sun. But where it is right now, look how red it is. These white plants behind me are called Queen Anne's Lace. Believe it or not, they're part of the wild carrot family, which means that they're edible. But I wouldn't recommend eating them because they probably don't taste very good. They're really pretty though. And so are these purple ones, but I don't know what those are called. I looked it up and that purple flower is called Dame's Rocket. Prodigy campers, do you agree with me? What kind of flowers can you find in your neighborhood? Do you see what I see? Do you hear what I hear? Do you remember what these are called, Prodigy campers? So I'm just about to cross this bridge, but I find it really interesting to look at. I'm noticing a lot. You wanna take a look with me? Aaron asked me to pay attention to the different geometric shapes and objects that I see while I'm out here. Why don't you look with me and let us know what it is that you notice about this bridge. Well, Prodigy Campers, I've reached the end of the trail, um, at least the path that I was taking, and I ended up by a local high school. My camera is just about out of battery, so I'm going to turn it off and enjoy the rest of the walk home. Thanks for hanging out with me, Prodigy Campers. Wow, it looks like Daniel experienced a lot of different sounds, birds, and animals on his journey. He also made some notes in his notebook about what he saw. Prodigy Campers, does your neighborhood look like Daniel's? Maybe it looks more like Jen's neighborhood. Let's head over to Jen and see what she's up to in the city. Hey, Prodigy Campers. I am out for a walk. My name's Jen. I'm out for a walk with my little dog, Hermes. Um, we're gonna take a walk in the city and Aaron's giving me some challenges. So we're gonna, we're gonna see if we can find anything special or interesting on our little walk today. Wow, that sounds very different from Daniel's neighborhood. Jen, can you show us around a bit? a little outdoor seating area for a restaurant. How can we figure out how long the length and the width of this area? I don't have a ruler or any sort of measuring device on me. Can you think of a way that we can figure out how long and how wide this seating area is? I thought of one way. I'm going to try measuring how many steps it takes me to walk across the length and the width. So the total length was 19 steps, 19 of my feet, and the width was eight steps. So now with that information, we can kind of estimate the, the area of the base, or we could even use that information to find the volume while we would need the height. That's a great way to estimate when you don't have a ruler with you. If Jen wanted to, when she got home, she could have measured her feet to calculate exactly how long and how wide that eating area was. Prodigy campers, can you think of a way that Jen could have estimated or measured the height of that eating area and then calculated the volume? Let's see where Jen's off to next. Oh, there's 
it's a cute little park here. Ooh, here we have a little mural and there are, there's a pizza in the sky. Uh, what sorts of shapes can you see in this mural? I think the pizza is really obvious. We see a circle and the slices, we've got triangles, windows, squares, the roof on that house is a triangle. And that looks like a ninja turtle coming out of the hole with a slice of pizza. I love it. Those were some interesting shapes, very different from the shapes that Daniel found in his area. Jen, Daniel had shown me some flowers that he had growing in his neighborhood. Do you have any flowers or plants growing in your area? I'm standing in front of this cool little community garden. And it's just so neat. In the middle of the city, we've got a garden and then there's a little library in there as well. Um, so let me show you around and let's see what we can see through the fence. Hello in a couple different languages. Do you speak any of these languages? Let's get a closer look. If your language isn't here, what language do you speak? Do you know how to write hello or say hello in your own language? That is a beautiful garden. Prodigy campers, did you recognize any of the flowers in that garden? I also loved seeing how they had the word hello written in different languages. Campers, how many languages can you say or write the word hello in? Now, before we say goodbye to Jen, I have one last challenge. Jen, is there anything that you think you can find in your neighborhood that we wouldn't see in Daniel's neighborhood? Look at all this fantastic street art behind me. Down this entire street. Notice the different colors and styles. It's so cool. different shapes. So it'd be pretty cool. Can you create your own graffiti at home? Probably not on a wall, maybe on like a piece of paper or something. You could write your own name, maybe a quote uh, that's important to you. And think about the different colors you'd use, style, font, all that good stuff. Wow, it looks like Jen's dog Hermes is getting tired. Maybe it's time to wrap up our challenge. Thank you so much to Daniel and to Jen for showing us around their neighborhoods. Prodigy campers, does your neighborhood look like Jen's? Or like Daniel's? Or maybe like neither of them? We hope that if you've gone on a community walk that you enjoyed these challenges. And thank you so much for helping Daniel and Jen go on their challenges.